What's going on? Welcome to Tech with Sean. Today we're looking at Asus GU501 Gaming Notebook. The Asus GU501 is a mid-range gaming laptop. It's available in a couple different configurations, but the one we have is what you'd find in your local Best Buy brick and mortar store. The MSRP on this thing is $1499, but it regularly goes on sale, so you can find them for like $1300. If you look really close too, you may be able to find an open box deal like we did. These can be really good deals because you can check the laptops out ahead of time and you can save a good deal of money. This is a mid-range laptop, so the specs are pretty close to what you'd find in like a Dell G7 or Acer Predator Helios 300, but with its form factor, this is actually a competition for stuff like the new Alienware M15. This is a mid-range laptop, but it has a premium feel with mostly metal construction. The only plastic is really the bottom removable panel on the laptop, and the rest of the lid and the top of the housing is solid metal, and there's almost no keyboard flex at all. For the ever-important one-finger screen lift test, it's solid as a rock. Inside this thing, we have an i7-8750H, 16GB of DDR4 clocked at 2666, 6 gigabyte GTX 1060, 128 gigabyte SSD with the operating system loaded on it and then for storage you have a one terabyte hybrid drive. The display is really nice. It's a 120 hertz refresh rate and it's an AHVA panel. Now places will call this IPS like. It's not really an IPS panel but you get wider viewing angles than a TN and you get far far superior color reproduction. These are really great panels to play on. A lot of the newer premium gaming panels are these like um, Behind me, I have the uh, Asus PG279Q, and that's got an AU Optronics AHVA panel in it, and it's great. And the laptop one is also really good. I have no complaints. It has that 120 hertz screen. So what I do myself is um, if something's lower requirement, like Rocket League or an eSports game, I'm going to let that go to the full 120 hertz because the 1060 can do it no problem. But for AAA games and something where it isn't going to reach that 120 hertz, I just cap the frame rate and use VSync to keep it at 60 hertz, so you get a fluid experience. It has an RGB keyboard with what they call the Aura Sync lighting, and it has four different zones. There's different patterns that you can set it up to run in. There's hotkeys to turn the brightness up and down or off on it. Um, it looks pretty nice. It gives it a premium look. It's plenty bright. You can do solid static colors. They have some like pre-programmed movements that you can do. So overall, it's a pretty nice keyboard. It has a full number pad. The only concession I would say is that the arrow keys get kind of small because of how the keyboard is laid out. So if that's a deal breaker for you, you know, it is what it is. They do have some helpful buttons up at the top for volume and mute, and then also to bring up the ROG Gaming Center. We'll show you that right now on the screen. In here you can see um, this is where you can control the different lighting effects and as well as get some other information on your GPU and CPU. But you'll probably still want to use in-depth reporting things like CPU-Z or hardware monitor for more detailed information. The trackpad is really nice. It uses Dell Precision drivers. It has a glass-like feel. It does have clickable buttons, but you can also just tap anywhere on the trackpad and it registers clicks. I haven't had any problems with missed clicks or anything. It works pretty well for the multi-fingered gestures like scrolling and everything, so I like the trackpad. It's got a couple down-firing speakers and they do a pretty good job um, for a laptop. I'll try and put in some example footage here so you can see what it sounds like. Now this is a gaming laptop, so I'm sure you want to see some gaming performance and benchmarks, so let's take a look at that stuff.
So that was the Asus GU501 gaming notebook. It's a thin and light, but really capable gaming notebook. I like it. It has the premium feel and finish. It has a really nice screen and the speakers work well. So when you're in the game, you get a really nice experience of the audio visual core experience. And that's what's important for gaming. You have the i7, so you have plenty of horsepower in there to crank through stuff. Um, you have the solid state drive for the OS. It's pretty much checks most of the boxes off. And really it's stark competition, I think, for something like the new Alienware M15, because if you look at this stacked up next to the base spec of that, that has like an i5, I think only eight gigs of RAM, only a 60 hertz panel, and then you can spec it up, and the ones like the reviewers, you know, they have the i7 and the 1070, but they also have really terrible thermo thermal performance, so um, it's kind of a trade-off. But if you're in the market for kind of a mid-range gaming laptop, I would say check this out. It has the premium feel of the Zephyrus laptops without the premium price tag, and the 1066 gig is really um, plenty, I think, for a 1080p gaming, even in 2018, 2019. Okay, we're going to be doing some more videos here with the Asus GU501. We're going to do a RAM upgrade, put in another 16 gigabyte DIMM. We're going to put in a one terabyte SSD, and we're going to repaste it with Cryonaut. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, drop a comment down there. Let us know what you think, um, and give us a like, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks. I also have really terrible thermo thermo thermo.